shape the breath. I'm beginning to find that ujjayi breathing, inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the nose. Lightly constrict the muscles at the back of the throat to find an audible sound. Deep, free breathing. If you'd like to set an intention for your practice, anything to focus on, concentrate on. Finding that here, I'm gonna seal it in with an inhale. Open the mouth, exhale, let it go, sigh it out. Take another inhale, find a little bit more length in the body. On your exhale, walk your hands over to the left as you find a side body stretch into the right. Just breathing into the right side body. Start to feel your right lung and rib cage filling up with prana, breath, and light. Inhale, walk the hands back through center. Find a little bit more length in the body. Exhale, walk your hands over to the uh, left <laughs> or the right. Find a side body stretch into the left. Breathing into that side of the body, finding expansion on the inhalations. Allowing yourself to ground down on the exhalations. Inhale to walk the hands back through center. Finding a cleansing breath on the exhale, open the mouth, sigh something out, let something go. Inhale, tabletop, shoulders come over the wrists, spread the fingers wide, knees hip distance. Moving into cat cows or any other natural organic movement that calls to you. Anything that feels good. Maybe taking time to put the fingers back to face the body, working into the wrists. The forearms, you can either take cat cows or start to bring the heels back towards the hips until you feel that little bit of resistance. I'm just find a few more rounds here, taking whatever feels good. Meaning back in stillness, exhale, puppy, anahatasana, walk your hands straight out in front as you melt the chest down. Forehead or chin binds the earth and then breathing that space into the shoulders. Find two more breaths. Press to the forearms, inhale, sphinx, hips lower, heart draws forward, crown of the head lengthens towards the sky. Feel the shoulders draw down the back. Crown of the head keeps lifting towards the sky. Exhale, bringing the chest towards the chin. Option to stay here. You can start to find circles, half or full, just releasing out tension in the cervical spine. Lowering the forehead all the way down to the earth. Slide the hands back in line with the chest. Inhale, take a little baby cobra, small back bend, shoulders draw down the back. Exhale, lower forehead to mat. Inhale, little baby cobra, option to hover your hands, pressing into the lower body. Exhale, forehead to mat. Last one, inhale, little baby cobra. Option, hover the hands. Hold through the exhale. Inhale, lift higher. Exhale, lower, forehead to mat. Bring your hands wider than mat distance apart. Find a finger bridge. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, right shoulder draws down. Look over the left shoulder. Inhale, center. Exhale, left shoulder down. Look over right. Inhale, back through center, lengthen. 
Try to bring the hands back in line with the chest. Keep lifting. Hold through the exhale. Inhale, lift higher. Exhale, lower. Forehead to mat. Tuck the toes. Engage the core. Inhale, plank. Press up in one straight line. Exhale, down dog. Press back. Option to find a little bit of movement, maybe pedaling out the feet. Gently, gently bring the head side to side. And then settling into stillness, feeling the heels melt to the floor, untuck tailbone, hips lift to the sky, feel the spine get a little bit longer. Shoulders soften away from the ears and down the back. And finding five breaths in stillness. Finding that deep, free breathing. Inhale, lift high up onto the toes. Shift the gaze between the thumbs. Slowly tippy toe your way to the top of the mat. And then finding ragdoll once you get there. Maybe halfway lift on the inhale first. And then exhale, bend the knees, take opposite elbows. Allowing the body to soften. You can stay still or find movement. Think about rooting down through all four corners of the feet. Keep your feet hip distance apart. Release the bind. Inhale, halfway lift. Feel the navel draw to the back of the body. Exhale, hinge and fold forward. Uttanasana. Bend the knees. Graze the ground. Inhale, chair pose. Keep the feet hip distance apart. Try to straighten arms and elbows, shoulders in line with the ears. Draw the navel to the back of the body. Exhale, hinge halfway down. Upper body towards the thighs. Crown of the head towards the front of the room. Chin is slightly tucked. Pull through the inhale, lengthen. Pull through the exhale, strengthen. Inhale, rise back up, chair. Again, exhale, hinge halfway. Chest to the thighs, hips to the back of the room. Crown of the head to the front. Pull through the inhale, lengthen. Pull through the exhale, strengthen. Inhale, rise, chair. Exhale, Tadasana, stand. Hands come by your side. Try to be as still as you can. Feeling the energy move up and down the spine. Starting to wake up the body a little bit more. Keep the feet hip distance apart. Inhale, reach the hands up and over the head. Maybe take a little back bend. Exhale, fold forward. Uttanasana, forehead to shins. Halfway lift, inhale, flat back. Exhale, step your left foot back. Lower the knee, untuck the toes. Inhale, Anjani Asana, low lunge. On your exhale, frame the foot. Lift the back leg, step back to down dog with big toes touching. Inhale, shift forward to plank. On the exhale, lower knees, chest and chin, elbows straight back as you hug the body. Inhale, cobra. Your shoulders come down the back. Exhale, lower, forehead to mat. Tuck the toes, engage the core. Inhale, plank. Feet stay together. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right leg high to the sky. Exhale, cheetah, knee to nose. Cut the spine, lift the knee higher. Shift the gaze between the thumbs, step the foot through. Lower the knee, untuck the toes. Inhale, on Asana. Exhale, frame the foot, lift the back leg off the floor. Inhale, left foot meets the right, hip distance apart, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach and rise to the top of the mat, take that little back bend. Exhale, fold right back through, Uttanasana. Halfway lift, inhale, shoulders together. Exhale, step the right foot back. Lower the knee, untuck the toes, inhale, Anjani Asana. Exhale to down dog, frame the foot, tuck the back toes, step back, big toes touching. Inhale, plank. Exhale, lower knees, chest and chin, elbows hug the body. Inhale, cobra, shoulders soften. Exhale, forehead to mat. Tuck the toes, engage the core, inhale, plank. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left leg high. Hips are square, legs are straight. Exhale, cheetah, knee to nose. Cut the spine, lift the knee high. Step the foot all the way through. 
Lower knee, untuck toes. Inhale on Janayasana. Exhale, frame the foot, lift the back leg. Inhale, right foot needs the left, hip distance apart, halfway lift. Exhale, bend the knees, interlace the hands behind the back and fold. Release the shoulders. Knees can be bent, maybe feel the rib cage relax on the upper thighs. Think about softening crown of the head and hands towards the floor. Gently release your bind on the inhale, bend the knees, graze the ground, chair pose again, feet apart. Best effort, arms and elbows straight. Again, exhale, hinge halfway, chest to thighs, crown of the head reaches to the front, hips to the back, feel the weight in the heels. Hold through the inhale, lengthen. Hold through the exhale, strengthen, navel to the back of the body. Inhale, rise, chair. Again, exhale, hinge halfway. Hold through the inhale, lengthen. Hold through the exhale, strengthen. Inhale, chair. Exhale, Tadasana, rise to stand, hands by side, try not to move. So you wanna think about absorbing all of the prana in the body, the stiller you are, the more you absorb, the more benefits you find as it comes inward. Heel toe the feet together to touch. Bend the knees, graze the ground, inhale, chair pose. Option palms touch, look to the thumbs. Exhale, fold, Uttanasana, forehead to shins. Halfway lift, inhale, flat back. Exhale, chaturanga, float or step it back. Here the inhale, up dog. Here the exhale, down dog. Inhale, right side, warrior one. Option palms touch, look to the thumbs. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dock. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left side, warrior one. Exhale, chaturanga. Here, the exhale to the bottom. Inhale, up dock. Exhale, down dog. Five breaths, hold, be still. Dristy gaze to the navel. Maybe try to straighten your legs, engage the quads, kneecaps lift to pelvis. Bend the knees, graze the ground, inhale, top of the mat, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, Uttanasana. Bend the knees, grace the ground, Utkatasana, inhale. Exhale, rise to stand, hands come by our side. Okay, finding that again. Inhale, Utkatasana, chair pose, bend the knees, palms touch, lift thumbs. Exhale, fold, Utkatasana. Halfway left, inhale, press into the palms. Exhale, chaturanga, float or step it back. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right side, warrior one. Try to sink lower, reach higher. Exhale, chaturanga, maybe skip and go to down dog. Inhale, left side, warrior one. Sink lower, reach higher. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, spill the head back. Exhale, down dog, five breaths, be still. Three more breaths, deep, free breathing. Engage the muscles in the legs, melt the heels to the floor. Inhale, Utkatasana, or halfway left top of the mat, sorry. <laughs> Hollow the belly, exhale, fold. Bend the knees, graze the ground, Utkatasana, inhale. Exhale, rise to stand, hands come by your side. Good, again, adding on, inhale, chair pose, bend the knees, look to the thumbs. Exhale, fold, Utkatasana, try to draw forehead to shins, use the ab muscles. 
Halfway, let's inhale, press into the palms, even if these are bent. Keep pressing into the palms, float back, chaturanga. Land with bent elbows, if you can. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Inhale, right side, warrior one. On your exhale, warrior two, windmill the hands over. Look past the right middle finger, feel the knee over the pinky toe. Flip the palm, inhale, peaceful. Exhale, side angle, five breaths, maybe hand the floor or to the thigh. Option, extend the left arm up and over, look to the lifted hand. Next, inhale, three-legged dog, frame the foot, right leg high to sky. Exhale, twist and mountain climber, top left tricep. Inhale, three point. Exhale, mountain climber, right tricep. Inhale, three point. Ride the exhale, chaturanga, keep the leg lifted or you can lower right down the down dog. Lower the foot, up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Inhale, left side, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. And the cast the left middle finger deep in the knee. Flip the palm, inhale, peaceful. Exhale, side angle, Parshvok Konasana. Maybe hand to floor, pinky toe side. Option, right arm up and over the ear. Lift to the lifted hand. Think about opening and spinning the chest to the sky. Inhale, three-legged dog, frame left foot, lift it high to the sky. Exhale, twist and mountain climber top. Inhale, three point. Exhale, mountain climber left tricep. Inhale, three point. Ride the exhale, chaturanga, or lower right down the down dog. Yet again, inhale, right side, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, peaceful. Exhale, side angle, another five breaths. Maybe this time taking a bind. Or maybe working that hand up and over the ear. Think about spinning chest to sky. If you have that bind, lean the upper body back, left shoulder draws back, lift to the sky. Take an inhale. Exhale, easy twist. Lower left hand down, high on the back toes. Right arm rises. Inhale, wild thing. Press into the left palm. Step the right leg up and over. Exhale, fall in star. Right hand down. Right leg through. Left arm rises. Inhale, side plank, Vashisasana, left hand down, right arm rises. Try to look to the lifted hand. On your exhale, take your vinyasa, or go right to down dog. Inhale, left side, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, peaceful. Exhale, side angle, partial Konasana, five breaths. Same expression you did on the other side. Wherever you are, deepen in that front knee, rotate the heart to the sky. Take an inhale. Exhale, easy twist, right hand down, left arm rises high in the back toes. Inhale, wild thing, left leg up and over. Exhale, uh, fallen star, left hand down, left leg through, right arm rises.
Inhale, side plank. Right hand down, left arm rises. Hips lift high, maybe look to the lifted hand once you have balance. Next exhale, take your vinyasa or right to down dog. Inhale, Malasana Yogi Squat. Step or float the feet outside, heels and toes up. And try to sit up tall. And slight tuck of the tailbone. Pressing palms together towards the heart center. And then try to squeeze the inner thighs towards the elbows and give a little bit of resistance back with the elbows. So you start to fire up the inner thighs and the adductors. Palm the mat on the inhale. Lift your hips. Legs are straight. Heel to feet, hip distance apart. Keep the lift in the chest, catch the big toes, Padangustasana, till arms and elbows are straight. Hollow the belly, hinge up the hips and fold forward. Bend the elbows to the side wall. Rib cage the thighs, one day forehead between shins. Try to soften the shoulders down the back. Inhale, lift the head and the chest, arms and elbows straight. Without folding, just exhale. Inhale, step on the hands, padahasthasana, toes touch your wrist. On the exhale, hollow belly, hinge up the hips and fold. Tilt the pelvis to the sky, crown of the head to the floor. Shoulders soften towards the hips. Inhale, lift the head and the chest, keep the bind. Exhale here. Inhale, the Kasana Crow Pose. Flip your hands forward, get a good grip on the mat. Option to move back into Malasana or just mean in Down Dog. Try to keep the heels together as you lift up, especially if you do this a bunch. Keep the heels together. Once you find balance, lift them higher towards the hips. And then eventually start to straighten the arms and elbows. Keep lifting hips higher. Wherever you are for three. Two, one, exhale, chatter on the float back. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale, five breaths. On your inhale, high crescent right side, step the foot through. Hands reach up and over the head. Exhale, prayer twist, left forearm outside the thigh. Navel draws in and up. Inhale, warrior two. Hold to the exhale, maybe sink lower. Inhale, three like a dog, right leg high to sky. Exhale, mountain climber, hold our fly. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, three point. Exhale, step the foot through, high crescent inhale. Exhale, easy twist, left hand down, right arm rises. Inhale, Trikonasana, triangle, right hand down. Straighten both legs, left arm rises, lean the upper body back. Exhale, revolve, half moon, left hand comes down. Lift the back leg, and then twisting upper body, look to the lifted right hand. Inhale, chair pose, Utkatasana, bend the knees, palms touch, lift thumbs. 
Exhale, twist to the left, right forearm outside the thigh. Press palms together, shoulder stack. Two more breaths, maybe sink the hips lower. Try to twist right rib cage outside the thigh. Inhale, chair. Exhale, fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, Chaturanga, float or step it back, meeting in down dog. Inhale, left side, high crescent. All ten toes forward. Exhale, prayer twist. Right forearm outside the thigh. Inhale, warrior two. Look past left middle finger. Feel the front knee over the pinky toe. Exhale, sink lower. Inhale, three like a dog, left leg high. Exhale, mountain climber, hold our fly. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, three point. Exhale, step the foot through. High crescent, inhale. Exhale, easy twist. Right hand down, left arm rises. Inhale, Trikonasana triangle, left hand down. Step the back foot in and up, straighten the legs, look to the lifted right hand. Exhale, revolve, half moon. Parvita Ardha Chandrasana, right hand down. Twisting over left leg, look to the lifted left hand. Inhale, chair pose, bend the knees. Hands reach overhead. Exhale, twist right, left arm outside the thigh. Press palms together, shoulder stack, navel draws in and up. Try to twist left rib cage outside right thigh. Inhale, chair, hands reach, strong spine. Exhale, fold. Halfway left, inhale. Exhale, take your flow, meet back and down dog. One more variation, inhale, right side, high crescent. Exhale, prayer twist, left forearm outside the thigh. Option to open up the arms and maybe take half or full bind. Left arm would reach under the right thigh. Right arm up and over. Catch fingers, maybe catch a wrist. Try to straighten the back leg for more stability. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, side angle, partial konasana. Last time here. You can take a bind, maybe hand to floor if you want to play with Bird of Paradise. If you have a different expression in your practice. Five breaths. Inhale, three like a dog, right leg high. Exhale, fall and star, extend the leg, let it hover and don't let it touch the floor. Look to the lifted left hand. Inhale, side plank, left hand down, right arm rises, maybe keep lifting the right leg to the sky. On your exhale, easy twist. Keep the left hand down, step the right foot up. Twist, the right arm rises. Inhale, Trikonasana triangle. Maybe catch the right big toe. Extend the back leg, lift the left arm up. Exhale, revolve triangle. Lower left hand down. Step the back foot in and up three feet. Try to bring left hand, pinky toe side. Look to the lifted right hand. As you press into the left palm, find more strength, twist deeper. Inhale, 
Inhale, half moon. Right hand down, left leg rises. Any expression, five more breaths. Maybe explore bringing that gaze to the side or the lifted hand, maybe a bind. Exhale, standing splits, hold over right leg, left toes high to sky. Right, only time here if you want to move into handstand or hops. Taking any expression. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, twist to the left. Option to stay. Open up the arms or take your arm balance. Option, maybe your right hand catches the top of the left foot and look to the lifted left hand. Inhale, back through center. Exhale, twist right. The same thing, moving into whatever expression you took on this side. Maybe left hand closes the gap, touch the top of the right foot, lift to the lifted hand. Inhale, chair. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, heel to the feet, hip distance apart, or um, all of mass distance, and sitting down into Malasana. And slowing the breath back down if needed. Option to stay here, you can take another round of Bakasana Crow Pose if you want to play with tripod headstand. Maybe donkey kicks to handstand, or you can just hold. Within a few rounds of breath, wherever you want to take this. Three more breaths, deep and free. And your next exhale, jump back, chaturanga, step back or come just right to down dog. Inhale, left side, high crescent. Exhale, prayer twist. Option to take that half or full bind. Whatever you took on the other side. And then think about straightening your back leg for stability. Draw left shoulder back. Look behind you. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, side angle, last time, five breaths, maybe bird of paradise, binds or holding. Inhale, through like a dog, left leg high. Exhale, fall and star, extend the leg and let it cover. Then try to look to the lifted right hand. Inhale, side plank. Right hand down, maybe lift the left leg to the sky. Exhale, easy twist, keep the right hand down, spin the left foot forward. Find your twist, look to the lifted hand. Inhale, trikonasana triangle, option catch the left big toe. Step the back foot in and up. Extend through the crown of the head, straighten the arm, straighten the legs. Exhale, revolved triangle, step the back foot in and up. Right hand comes pinky toe side, press to the palm, look to the lifted left hand. Little up dog through the chest. Inhale, half moon, Adarshandrasana, left hand down. Feel the body open, look to the lifted right hand.
Exhale, standing splits, hold over right leg, left toes high to sky. And any expression, handstand, hops, taps, whatever you took on the other side. On the inhale, lift the head and the chest. Right foot meets the left, bend the knees, kind of come into a squat, and then lower right down into Navasana. So knees to the chest, and then lift right into it. Option to bring your hands behind your back for stability. Try not to touch your legs. If you want to and you have a little bit more room, you can extend the legs. Maybe look to the toes. Gaze stays towards the toes. Exhale, canoe, hands to heart center, lower down, feet flex, shoulders lift. Inhale, Navasana. Exhale, canoe. Inhale, Navasana. Exhale, right shin over the left, hug the knees to the chest, try to get as small as you can. Inhale, Navasana. Exhale, canoe. Inhale, Navasana. Exhale, left over the right, hug the knees to the chest. Inhale, Navasana. Exhale, right over the left, hug the knees in. Inhale, Navasana. Exhale, left over right, hug it in. Inhale, Navasana. Exhale, canoe, hold. Look to the toes, feet flex, shoulders lift. Press the palms together strongly. Navel to the back of the body, holding, look to toes. Notice the body breathe and feel the body shake. Release on the inhale. Point the toes, reach the hands overhead. Lengthen the body. Exhale, gently draw the knees in towards the chest. Give yourself a little hug. On the inhale, setting up for an of um, Bridge pose, soles of the feet to the floor, knees are bent. Take a moment, just exhale there, feel the hands by the body. On the inhale, press into the feet, strong legs lift the hips to the sky. If you have more space, bring the shoulders underneath the body and release the hands. Try to slow the breath down. Exhale, lower down one vertebrae at a time. Soles of the feet come together, knees out wide. Take a moment, allow the low back to release. Good. Second round, setting up for bridge or wheel. Inhale, prep your hands and feet. Exhale there. Inhale, lift up, bridge or wheel. Think about strong legs and easy breathing. Exhale, lower down one vertebrae at a time. Knees gently come together, feet out max distance apart. Gently release the low back again. Third round, bridge your wheel. Inhale, prep your hands and feet. Exhale there. Inhale, lifting up five breaths. Tuck the chin from wheel, exhale, lower down. Soles of the feet together, knees out wide. Fourth and final, maybe having a little bit of endurance and stamina. Inhale, prep hands and feet. Exhale there. Strong legs, best breathing. Inhale, lift up for five. Four, three, two, one. Tuck the chin, exhale, lower down. 
Knees come together, feet out wide, gently press to the low back to the floor. Maybe hands come on the belly. Slowing the breath back down if needed. Supta Baddha Konasana, soles of the feet together, knees out wide. One hand stays on the belly, one hand comes to the heart. And just taking this time to be grateful for three things in your life today. Take a deep inhale, seal that in. Open the mouth, sigh it out, let it go. Place the hands under the knees, draw them back together and towards the chest. Gently rocking up and down the spine a couple times. We'll meet in pigeon on the right. If you want to take a vinyasa, you can float back first. Or just bring right leg forward, left leg back. You can also stay on the back if you prefer. And try to keep your right foot flexed as much as you can. Back leg straight as you press into the top of your left thigh. And then option to sit up tall. Maybe working spinal strength and that release in the hip flexor. Or you can fold into it. Try to inhale for a count of five. And exhale for a count of five. Slowing everything down, body is still. Three more breaths. Next inhale, sitting up tall, find the palms. Moving into a seated twist, left foot comes outside the bent right knee. And left hand behind the back, little to no weight, lengthen on the inhale. Exhale, twisting forearm outside the thigh. Again, every inhale, lengthening. Every exhale, twisting left shoulder back, right shoulder forward. Inhale, just the gaze comes forward. Exhale, unravel. Inhale to come back through center, making way back into pigeon on the left. Maybe take a vinyasa or just bring left shin forward, right leg back. Again, trying to flex that left foot, press into the top of the right thigh, and either sitting up tall or folding into it. Try to inhale for a count of five and exhale for a count of five. Next inhale, sitting up tall. Moving into that seated twist, right foot comes outside the bent left knee. Placing right hand behind the back, little to no weight. Inhale, lengthen. 
And exhale, twist left forearm outside the thigh. Continuing to lengthen on the inhales, twisting on the exhales. Right shoulder back, left shoulder forward, twisting with the chest as you look out of the corner of your right eye. Inhale, bring the gaze back forward. Exhale, unravel. Bring both soles of the feet to the floor. Knees are bent, hands come by your side. Slowly roll down one vertebrae at a time until you come all the way down to the spine. And then setting up for your favorite inversion. You can find happy baby, shoulder stand. If you have a block you'd like to use. Just getting the feet over the head and the heart. And again, maybe you inhale for five and exhale for five. Slowly rolling down one vertebrae at a time. Finding a uh, supine twist, knees come in towards the chest, hands to a T. On the exhale, let the legs fall over to the left, gaze comes over your right shoulder. Inhale, center. Exhale, twisting legs to the right. Look over, left shoulder. Inhale, center. Placing hands under the thighs, rock up and down the spine a couple times. And then coming back up to a seat. We'll finish with a breathing exercise. This is called Nadi Shodhana. And on your left hand, finding chin mudra, bringing index finger to thumb. Other three fingers are straight and then arm and elbow straight. On your right hand, you'll find Vishnu mudra. So index finger and middle finger come to the palm. We'll use our thumb and our ring finger. So this translates to alternate nostril breathing. We do this to purify the body, to cleanse the body. Okay, so I'll talk you through it. First, just exhale through the mouth. Close the right nostril, inhale through the left. Close the left, exhale right. Inhale right. Exhale, left. That's one round. Again, inhale, left. Try to use the inhale to heal and nourish your body, making it slow. Exhale, right. The exhale is used to restore balance back to the body or to release or let go. Inhale, right. Healing and nourishing the body. Exhale, left, restoring balance, releasing, letting go. Again, inhale, left. Exhale, right. Inhale, right. Exhale, left. Inhale, left. Exhale, 
Exhale, right. Inhale, right. Exhale, left. Maybe noticing you become a little bit more focused, calm, but energetic. And again, inhale, left. At this time, gently close both nostrils, hold the breath as you find Kumbhakta, breath retention, and then drop the chin to the chest for Jalandhara Bandha and hold. Lift the chin, exhale right. Inhale right. Gently close both nostrils, hold the breath, Kumbhakta. Drop the chin to chest, Jalandhara Bandha, chest is lifting, hold. Lift the chin, exhale, left. Inhale, left, last round. Close both nostrils, hold the breath, Kumbhakta. Drop the chin to chest, Jalandhara Bandha. And then Mula Bandha, pelvic floor muscles draw in and up. Feeling the prana within the body. Allowing the body to be in container for this prana. Lift the chin, exhale right. Inhale right. Gently close both nostrils, hold the breath, Kumbhakta. Drop the chin to chest, Jalandhara Bandha. Mula Bandha in and up, pelvic floor muscles, holding the prana in the body. Lift the chin, exhale left. Release the right hand, return to the natural breath. And try to be as still as you can. My teacher calls us being a pranic sponge, so we want to absorb all of this energy into the body. And then just noticing any sensation in the body, the mind. Again, maybe noticing you feel a little calmer, but also energetic. Maybe the mind is more focused. And then slowly, slowly, just setting up for your final rest, taking that Shavasana. Setting up whatever feels good, maybe keeping eyes closed or gazes soft. If you have a wall nearby, you can do legs up the wall if you want to add in an extra inversion. And then just settling into any stillness. Giving yourself permission to completely be here. Just take your biggest inhale of your practice, of your morning. Open the mouth, sigh it out, let it go. Surrender to that Shavasana.
Allow your breath to deepen. Sending prana throughout the body, your breath, life force, energy. Bring awareness back to the body, make small movement, wiggle fingers and toes, circles with the wrist and the ankles. Gently draw the knees in towards the chest, making way to right side, using right arm as a pillow. And just taking a moment to reset, renew, and recharge. With keeping eyes closed, slowly coming up to a simple seat, hands come to the heart, Anjali Mudra. We'll close our practice with the universal sound of Om. Take a deep inhale. Ah. Uh... 